It seems to me that the Creator has generously rewarded us, residents of the temperate climate zone, not only with many wonderful species of hunting animals and birds, but also with the opportunity to observe the changing seasons. And the change of seasons, I tell you, is always a wonderful, interesting event in the life of nature and man, and especially if this person is a hunter. Oh, it's spring, beauty and that's all. There is still snow lying somewhere in the logs and the forest, and in some places, the grass is already green with might and mane. The flowers are blooming, and most importantly, local species of animals and birds are moving away from the long winter. Yes, migratory birds are being pulled up from afar and not very far away. Here it is a real hunting happiness. So I can say that I've been waiting for spring and spring hunting all year. And this time my friends and I were in the Kostroma region. There should be no attraction here. Grouse with grouse is available and the goose can catch up. Well, if you're lucky, of course. Everything is more or less clear with your own thrust. And who is not clear, we will figure it out later. The situation is more complicated with black grouse. There is evidence that the grouse attacks actively and willingly. In places, it strays into quite large, flat points, about 10 or 12 pieces. The trouble is that the hut was not built in time. And as you know, it should be built in stages, in three or four days, so as not to frighten the roosters from nowhere, and suddenly appeared building. And we need to give them time to get used to a new subject. Unfortunately, we don't have time for this. Either Pam or Gone. My old friend Dmitri Pazarev will be my assistant. Dima and I don't want to disappear, so we choose Ban. To determine the exact location of the construction of the hut, a detailed reconnaissance with reference to the terrain is needed. So how does a hunter find a grouse current? Well, in principle, it's not that difficult. The black grouse is not his relative, the caper Kaylee, who, as you know, is a big fan of hiding away in the forest and carefully clicking and squeaking there. The black grouse, on the other hand, declares its location from afar with a far-spreading low-frequency murmur. All that is required of the hunter is to creep up with caution, creep up to his voice. The main thing is not to overdo it and stop in time so that the attacking roosters and surrounding objects are visible in the pre-dawn twilight. As soon as the hunter marks the noticeable hangers on the suckness, you need to leave immediately. I strongly advise you not to try to sneak up on the shot. Most likely it will not succeed. Well, if you are suddenly lucky, then you will all be scared away and deprive yourself of the great pleasure of admiring this spectacle at dawn. It is better to return in the afternoon when it will only fly apart and find a suitable place where you can put a hut. The mother is wide. Not even a glance to embrace. The poet. And here, such places are good for a black grouse here and there. Workings. And when I came back yesterday, I pulled off such a healthy pack right here over the road. Well, I didn't even understand the big one there. Such a wingspan. Having. It's in the mare. And a flock of geese there stretched out 50. Everything is Lola. I just passed. It's literally a case of ha ha ha. I turn around 50 meters above the ground stretches so low on the flock. And you know, what's important is that it really differs in size. He takes it. There is a small telescope there, especially gaining all. He's already very good. As you say, the prisoners aren't here, are they? Yes, yes. That's right there somewhere, right. And there's an old branch dry on the edge. It's leaking out there. Yeah, and there is a big vetla on the edge. I see, yes, here, on it, as if four two days in a row in the morning, I saw chickens sitting and grouse gurgling nearby. Well, that is we are now. We need to come over and just take a look. Find the current location directly, right? Localize everywhere? Yes, in order to determine how to put the hut on the shot. In other words, there should be a hundred percent current there. But we need to decide on the spot and figure out how to part ways. Well, shall we go? In general, 
The place is very good, suitable for, rest is good, yes for the current, 100%. They are such places very much. They also offer along the way, do you know what to do? I mean look, we still have the opportunity to walsh in the evening to shoot, right? Here is a typical cutting here, they are the same. Already overgrown, with Christmas trees, with birches. And there's a high-stemmed forest. Behind it is another clearing, also not very big. Yeah. It seems to me that this is a promising enough place. I suggest Dmitry Evgenievich that we go there with you, look for a place of rendezvous. Yes, here's Vetla. Yes, 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 there she is. Isn't this the nearest one? Do you see the little one, further down, in the very bottom? Here they were sitting chickens, and roosters were singing from below on the protony. Well, yes, I did not consider specifically where the current is located. He began to approach, the pack took off, left, but they certainly left traces of their stay there. Feathers should be, yes, trampled some bald spots, feathers droppings. Therefore, we will search now. Well, here you can see the old holes, that is, traces of black grouse staying here in winter, they are on the face. Here are the old Lunoshki they have droppings, everything is now defending, being exposed. In other words, it is clear that there is a net here, and it has been kept here all winter. Therefore, now it is more precisely the place where he is here. It is necessary to find such a problem right away. Usually it's a spot, well, there's a diameter of 20 to 30 meters, where they most actively dance, such. There it is necessary to find feathers, it is necessary to find some kind of droppings, trampled, a piece of such place. Places. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, a lot. So, Dima, you don't know what? Yes, yes, sort of, yes. How are you, the rooster, three year old? Seriously, what about you? Female, female, small, neat, elegant shapes, pregnant, exactly. And speaking seriously, but it's worth noting that this is a wintering place, or rather, from one day of wintering, to become a silver. Yes, yes, yes. Here she spent the night here. Here are eight, probably, or nine yes of these piles. Yes, here's one, two, three, yes, yes to hell. That is, here they spent the night in the snow, and as a matter of fact, walked under themselves. Warmed up in this way. Yes, yes, by the way, that's right, they are not heated in this way, such a battery. And now it's all set, right? And so the traces remained. They stayed. Traces remained. So, 100%. Look here. Here's a pen. Here's the pen. There are trees lost here. You see, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, now that's it. This is what we need. Look here. Even under the pen. You see, the snow is melting away. Well, yes. This is where they figured out the relationship between themselves. This place is already 100%. Current. Here it is. is. Once there were fields here, but today, everything is overgrown with small snout, which can seriously interfere with the hunter. The essence of our work is simple and clear. In the beginning, we will build the skeleton of this hut advertising, and then we will cover it tightly with a lapnik. Here, as a matter of fact, it is quite overgrown, yes. And I think that the grouse has already got used to the fact that, as a matter of fact, there can be some quite tall ones here. We try to deceive him. So, we missed it. I'm here now. Tighten it up. Later. So, let's bet, bet, and arrange different sides. They can be from here, from where you want, so that the shelling was normal. That's it. Yes. It's good and that's it. Let's get on with it, ha. Huh? Here, Dmitry Evgenievich, how much he dragged in Africa. Yeah, that's it. We're taking it. Now we're hanging it up. Great.
we impose. To slowly overgrow, it's normal to weave everything in. Interweave. You know, it's also very tight, don't use a cliché. First of all, it is necessary to look, yes. So well, it turned out to be quite a magnificent snaruzhini. Dima, how is it inside there? Tell me, you're great, yes. And the smell? Fresh pine needles. Yeah, awesome. Only now it remains to sit down, what will you like, right? As I said, it is recommended to build a hut in advance, and not immediately head on. But we have no way out and no time. And now we remind Winnie the Pooh from the Soviet cartoon, who tries to deceive bees by pretending to be a cloud. Our task is similar, to make the grouse believe that our hut is a harmless Christmas tree, as it stands against the background and among the same trees exactly in shape and color. The question is whether the roosters will believe us. Even in complete darkness, I hurried to our grouse current. Deep down, I was very afraid that the roosters would be alerted by our wonderful hut. But where ours did not disappear, we'll see. Everyone is already flying up. Do you hear how it is man? Done. When I heard the summoning scales of the first tukka, my soul also immediately packed everything. Gradually, more and more pines joined him. I enjoyed their singing and jumping. It is still visible that the new object alerted, and with an increase in illumination, groups of attacking birds gradually shifted from the hut to the side. Still, occasionally some of them approached for long-range shots. The figures have arrived, and then the mountains came. That's what they teach us around us, but the roosters are in the distance, a hundred or a hundred and fifty meters away. Take a closer look for a long time. I see they are sitting. Ready. <laughs> Running away, away. Oh, it's a shame. The shot was far away. As a result, under the wound, we'll have to catch up with him immediately and get there.
Well, thank you from the stove. Here is a beautiful spring trophy, a cock of a black grouse. Here, of course, the current is very heavy. Such a thing is not far from the hut, and I had to shoot at an exorbitant distance of meters probably, I do not know his father, like 50 meters. There was simply no other way out, there is no time left. And the cockfight tried to run away from her, and so I had to chase him across the field. But decently, I think, I didn't run 700 meters. Here, the heart, as they say, is from the chest. The rooster runs no worse than I do, but still I managed to catch up with him. Here, and from a gun, it seems like he fired a little far away once. Then, I think I won't make any noise, I didn't shoot, and decided to catch it with my hands. Quite difficult classes, but our hunting, there's no getting away. That's it, dear colleagues. I don't stop just enjoying the beauty of the spring trophies, and of course, the spring hunt itself. There is no such thing anywhere. It's just a unique something amazing. To wake up like this you can say, early in the morning on a wooden table, and enjoy all these charming, absolutely, absolutely amazing lists of roosters. Just great, very, after all, we are a happy people hunters. The grouse got used to the hut, and it earned. And the next morning, Dmitri got another trophy. And now we will prepare them. Beautiful trophies are black grouse, spring grouse. I remember that at the very dawn of my hunting youth, when we were available to me without a horse, we were only in the Moscow region of its nearest places, and there to drive a little tour by train. Here, I kept dreaming of getting a black grouse. It didn't work out in any way, but there wasn't one, there wasn't anywhere. But now, thank God, something has changed, right? A lot has changed in our life, in our country. And the black grouse began to appear everywhere. And the preparation for this hunt is wonderful, interesting. We need to find a place, which is what we did with Dima. It is necessary to put up a hut, build it. It is necessary to come there early in the morning. And when you hear this first, the hunter's heart starts pounding and beating right here. Well, we got a few to revs, a batch, one per person. And now our task is to cook them. But to be honest, in order not to bother, we do not need stuffed animals. Actually, yes, we will simply skin them. Yes, we'll take it off with a pen. Because leaving the skin, I do not know, someone loves, I think it is inappropriate. They're not gutted, we're just pruning. Yes, in general, that is. We need to cut it and that's it. And just take off the skins. By the way, I have seen somewhere an interesting way of gutting, not gutting, but cleaning trees. You step on the wings with your feet, grab the hind legs, and make a dash up. And supposedly everything is immediately cleaned up there. You are left with two halves in the hands of the legs, respectively, the paws, or rather the back part, and the wings and breast remain somewhere down there. I've never tried it. I think it's blasphemy. So I'll do it traditionally. I'll just take off my skin and that's it. That's released now. Here is a spring grouse. Of course, it is as dry as all spring game. And therefore, it is necessary to take some measures in order to make it more juicy. Here, Dima, what do you think are your ideas on this? Well, I have here with us, alone, one, fat. Well, the method is one fat. Well, lard is so lard. Here I am, as a matter of fact, not against lard. This is a high calorie product that allows you to quickly recover strength, so it is very compact. So, we take it like this once I do. Do one, do two, do three. So, here we do the same thing with the leg. So,
So, well, we're done, we're done. Yes, everything was butchered. Okay, let's cut it now. So, I'm cutting it now. I'll divide it into two parts. Shall we divide it into two parts? No more. Or four? No, oh. Let's make it bigger. Yes. Yeah. So, here it is first like this, first along, then across. Cut across. It turns out the front as if the back part. Plus the hearts that we will put. And as a matter of fact, it turned out to be a wonderful dish. Already I feel it will work. A wonderful dish will turn out. I think it will be very tasty. We'll make a shulshul. That is, what we put in, say, we'll take these pieces of meat, put them in the cauldron. Let's put potatoes, onions, onion, a little carrot, a little carrot, a little carrot, and lavrushka and pepper. And garlic, garlic, come on. So, here. So. Delivered. That's fine. Now let's go get the ingredients. I've got this here. For our shulium meat, onion, tomato. Look. Pomidor. Right in its entirety. Yes. More meat. Solid pieces. Potatoes. Oops. And hearts. And carrots. I'll put it down now. What will I put in? I'm going to put the peppers in now, while the peas are for flavor. Right. Because this is the kind of thing that should take a long time to boil. And lavrushka and everything else we will put in the end in the box. Well, here's the salt. Let's also put garlic goals. Let's go straight to the hole. Of course, yes. He will give the fragrance and everything. And thank God. Let's salt it. And a juniper twig. Well, not all of it, of course. No, oh, she's not a twig. Come on. Berries, break it off. Let's put the berries for flavor. They are like such peas, like green peppers. But the aroma is awesome. If you add a little juniper berries somewhere, they give such a taste of pine needles. Very pleasant, very good. They are a little bit not ripe now. They are still green, but nevertheless. Also, yes, but nevertheless, the fragrance is worthy of throwing a few things in there. Jim, I would take this kick off from above, to be honest. By no means. Why? Do you know what it is? What is it? You think it's just foam? Well, yes. No, oh. This is the most easily digested protein, which is the first to be released from meat, cooked, and comes out in the form of foam. We added a handful of porcini mushrooms to our shulium. We had dry porcini mushrooms. We soaked them and threw them into the shulium, so that they would give even more flavor. Such turbocharging, yes, from the wind, yes, yeah. Once, now come here, wait. And a little piece, right? No, we don't have less. Come on. That's it. Here you go. Great. So, succeeded. For glory. But now it's my turn to try. I also want potatoes with parking. It doesn't even hurt anymore. That's something I don't like that worthless piece of meat. A small one at all. A big one for you. A small one for me. Where do we have potatoes here? But for some reason, I got garlic. Okay, I don't mind. Okay, here, a little carrot. So, oh, and there I see the yellow berries. They do not flow. There is no strength. I want to try. Now, just a second. So, awesome forest aroma with a slight hint of pine needles. A light taste of pine needles gave us this is wonderful. Now I'll get it for you. I'll show you. A wonderful little juniper berry. So, what kind of smoke do you smell? It is cooking over a campfire that gives this unique flavor and a special, special sophistication of the dish. Especially a game dish.
So in general, it has been checked, you can cook such a shulyam quite calmly. It is better, of course, in nature, but not at home, in the kitchen on your own. So, and as they say, bon appetite, marked shots, and no fluff or feather, dear friends.